Showbiz royalty are set to watch celebrity offspring Brooklyn Beckham, 23, and Nicola Peltz, 27, tie the knot this weekend, but will actual bona fide royalty also be in attendance? If the Palm Beach rumor mill is to be believed, California residents Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are on their way to Florida to make an appearance at the star-studded nuptials this Saturday. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are longtime friends of Brooklyn's parents, with David and Victoria Beckham even attending their wedding at St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle in May 2018. When budding chef Brooklyn popped the question to Nicola in June 2020, Harry and Meghan were reported to be at the top of Victoria and David's guest list for the future wedding. It seems like the Spice Girl, 47, and the retired footballer, 46, have got their wish, with Palm Beach Post reporting it looks likely Meghan and Harry will be making the short flight over from their Californian home to the bride's family's oceanfront mansion in Palm Beach, Florida. A number of Victoria and David's friends will be present to see their firstborn marry the billionaire heiress on Saturday, with Gordon Ramsay, Eva Longoria and the Spice Girls just some of the star-studded names on the guest list. The father and bride of the groom have forged a close relationship with Meghan and Harry over the years, with the former Suits actress often wearing the fashion icon's designs for prominent events and outings. In February 2020, just weeks after Meghan and Harry announced their plans to step back from their royal duties, former Manchester United player David spoke of how proud he was of his amazing friend Harry. The dad of four praised the former senior royal for growing up and discussed his plans to relocate to California, where he and wife Victoria also have a base. I haven't spoken to Harry about him moving, the former England captain said. We speak as friends and that's the most important thing for me. I think he's enjoying being a young father for the first time and that's what we always spoke about. David went on to add, we love him and he's an amazing person, and that's the most important thing, but I'm proud to see him growing up as an individual and being that person that every father wants to be. Meghan Markle has not set foot in the UK since she and Prince Harry attended their last event as working members of the royal family in 2020. After a brief stint in Canada, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex set up their new family home in California despite maintaining their residence in the UK. But with Meghan now having cut nearly all her remaining links to the UK, Daily Express royal correspondent Richard Palmer questioned whether she will ever return to England. Speaking to Royal Roundup's host Pandora Forsyth, Mr. Palmer said, She's cutting ties with British charities, there's only one left now, Smart Works. Perhaps that patronage continues, I don't know. The hardened fact is in all of this is she and Harry are based in the States. He continued, formally, they remain residents in the UK but people inside the royal circles are really not sure whether we'll ever see Meghan ever again in the UK. Harry, I'm sure, will be back eventually. Probably when he comes to Holland for the Invictus Games, he'll probably spend some days in the UK. On Wednesday, the animal rescue charity Mayhew announced they had decided with Meghan Markle she would no longer serve as their patron. The news came after the Duchess revealed close friend Oli Just had passed away, prompting Mayhew's chief executive Howard Bridges to reveal she had generously made a donation in memory of her dear friend. Mr. Bridges added, although we have mutually agreed not to extend the patronage, as a committed rescue pet parent, the Duchess will continue to support Mayhew and champion our ambitions. Her enthusiasm for our mission has inspired many more people to support and donate to our charity to save dogs and cats from a life of cruelty and neglect, support local pet owners in crisis, and find loving and forever homes for abandoned animals. Despite her move to the United States, Megan reportedly maintained frequent contact with Mayhew to get updates on their work within the community. An insider close to the Duchess said at the time, the Duchess is in touch and working with Mayhew at this time. One thing many people may not realize is the range of work Mayhew does. It is not your classic animal charity. They are supporting so many other people in the community too. The Duchess last year told the charity's CEO Caroline Yates her dogs had played an important role in her life during the pandemic. Ms. Yates said, whenever we talk to the Duchess about the charity, she always references how important her dogs are and what a support they are particularly during everything that's happened this year, with COVID, and with the personal trials and tribulations she went through this year.